EastEnders Samantha Womack admitted she is thankful to be alive in an emotional admission after learning that she is now completely free of breast cancer. The star, much loved by fans famous for her portrayal of Veronica Ronnie Mitchell on the BBC One soap, had opened up earlier in the year after receiving the diagnosis. The 50-year-old had initially not noticed any symptoms, but the cancer had been discovered during a routine medical check. Shed previously described the breast cancer treatment, a grueling course of chemotherapy, as hardcore and toxic. The EastEnders star has admitted she is continually bursting into tears because she feels so thankful to be alive. I just feel really thankful and really grateful that I caught it when I did. I feel very thankful for my life, she declared. I know that sounds crazy, but it's almost like I can see the beauty in everything now, like everything feels special. I keep bursting into tears, because I'm happy, she told OK! Magazine. She explained that receiving the shock diagnosis had shifted my perspective and that she was now appreciating everything even the smaller things in life she might normally have taken for granted. Recalling the roller coaster ride of her diagnosis, the actress, who has been supported throughout her cancer battle by boyfriend Oliver Farnworth, admitted her blood had run cold when Shed first found out there was a shadow on one of her breasts. Sam felt disbelief as Shed had no symptoms whatsoever prior to learning of the cancer. The appointment had been squeezed in between a matinee and an evening show in the star's fast-paced theater schedule and the last thing Shed been expecting was complications. It was really incredible because I didn't find a lump, I didn't feel unwell, she previously confided to this morning hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. There had been a lot of illness around our friends and family and I just thought he'd get a random check and I had an ultrasound, and it showed a little shadow, she added. The doctor conducting the ultrasound urged her to take the findings to a breast clinic and prepare to have a mammogram and a biopsy. The overwhelmed star booked in for a private appointment, only to receive the bad news, as her doctor had initially feared. There was a 2 cm tumor. She went through a brutal course of chemotherapy, as well as a lumpectomy, which removed a piece of her breast tissue along with five cancerous lymph nodes. I love my kids so much more, I love my boyfriend so much more, I love my life so much more. It's like my life's in vivid color right now, she exclaimed to OK of how she has been blessed with a total recovery from the disease. She had first broken the bad news to her social media followers back in August, alongside a warm tribute to a fellow sufferer, the late Olivia Newton-John. Olivia had died of the condition that same month at the age of 73, ending a three-decade battle. But Sam emotionally recalled how thankful she was that the pair had been able to have dinner together before the Grease actress death. Sam had previously played Olivia's role as Sandy in the stage musical of Grease in London's West End. I now start my own battle with this disease and am left feeling deeply moved, she wrote at the time.